welcome back to a drink with crazy and halo infinite got delayed yeah it which did. is it's a good thing for halo infinite and a bad thing for the series x Ooh, so let's get yeah. into that because mm, microsoft you done goofed again yeah again again all right let's get into it oh i'm gonna have to stop being an xbox fanboy i i would have said that after the one but that's just me let's get into the conversation Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. All right, so Halo Infinite got delayed, which, by the way, good for you, 343, for actually listening and really taking to heart some of the criticisms that a lot of people had. It, um, it shows that they actually care about putting out a good game. It does, yeah. it does. So we've got to give that to them because I think that they're... I think that any any game dev or or movie producer or television show producer or whatever uh, that says, "Hey, we had some criticisms. We want to make sure that we put out the best product." Well, it's like the have. Sonic movie. Exactly. I was. Ex yeah. That's exactly where I was going. No, hundred percent. But no, there's a there's a famous quote from a game dev. I'll let you guess who that says a delayed game is only delayed until it comes out, but a bad game is bad forever. Mm -hmm. do you yeah. Know who, do you know who said that? CD Projekt Red. No. Ooh. Shigeru Miyamoto. As in the mind behind Mario, Zelda. Oh, yeah. crap. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. Wow. Wow. I'm not even human. I didn't even know that. Yeah. No, no. The oh. guy who designed Donkey Kong, Mario, Zelda. You know, just Well, and that guy's small, just been small. on top for ever in a day. I mean, everything Since he does. Since the 80s. Yep. So, um, no, I... Man. So, okay. So, not only did we have a lackluster showcase from the from Microsoft and the Xbox Yeah, all the CG and, trailers yeah. and very little gameplay yeah, and their gameplay event. Gameplay. Yeah, that yeah. was... Yeah. You no. Know, so, not only did we have a lackluster thing there, we've still not been told the price for the Series X. No, And we, we have still uh, not been really shown some awesome launch titles with the exception of Halo Infinite. And now Halo Infinite's not a launch title. Yeah. And so, I mean... Going back to all of the mistakes that they made with the Xbox One. Yeah, I mean... Microsoft is no, doubling down on that. No, no first-party exclusives to launch with. No good launch titles to sell us on the box. Mm -hmm. And then I am I am concerned, even though as a PC gamer, I'm very happy about them uh, having a cross-buy thing where you can play on Series X or One or mm -hmm. Windows. I, I'm wondering if that won't cannibalize too much of their own market. See, and I was wondering about that, too. Like, yeah. why, if you guys are really doubling down on the PC thing, why put the time, effort, energy, and money and development and all that stuff into this, uh, into the Series X? Why why even do that? I'm, it, Man, it just feels like Microsoft doesn't want to be a console... I don't know, because I, I can, I, I can I, see two things. One is, is as consoles get more and more PCized... Mm -hmm. You know, PC similar in their architecture and their hardware. Which I think is a good thing. I, it stops being such a resource um, hog in terms of having to produce one because you're not making technology for this anymore. You're just mm -hmm. repurposing yeah. and specializing. So, you know, the fact that these both use AMD chips, you know, an AMD chipset. Which, that's crazy. So, I we mean... We could not have done that seven years no, ago. No, but this whole idea of doing that makes me think that... They're almost. It almost sounds like with the Series X and uh, the, what do they call it, the Lockhart? Um, yeah, that's interesting. And then the one and what it almost seems like they're trying to go after what Valve was going to do with the whole Steam Machine thing, which they're essentially pre-built modular PC consoles. So right. like you buy them like a console, but they are a PC. Yeah. And so I'm wondering if that isn't kind of more the direction they're going for at this point because... Dude, well, and actually with everything that I've seen with Microsoft and the Series X, I think what they are trying to do is they're trying to say, don't worry about spending $2,000 on a PC. We'll give you the same thing for gaming here. Yeah. And if they pull it off, but here's the problem, it doesn't matter if they pull it off on launch. Now, yeah. a year after launch, they could be the most popular game system on the planet. But on launch, not having a major title like, like well, Halo... Well, it's, it's called the killer app, right? And right. obviously Halo CE was the killer app for the original Xbox. Yeah. And then the um, uh, 360 had Gears of War mm -hmm. in, early, in late 06. 
Well, and, and not um, only that, but 360 also had Halo 3. I mean, but that was even, in 07. That was hardly launched. But, no, but no, it that was hardly in, launched. But I mean, that game launched had in so fall much, of 05. That, but, but, that, but that game had so much uh, 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 hype around it. I mean, I mean, Halo 3 had like Cyberpunk 2077 levels of hype around oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I mean, even maybe even more. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say well because you, people were just a lot more excitable well, you back said then. Cyberpunk 2077 has you know the hype for that has hit like Saturn levels right now. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. You well, know, I mean, I'm, I'm, the I'm Halo Halo 3 sure. hype was like around Pluto. I was going to say, it, it might have hit the Terminus shock. Uh, <laughs> right. But, um, but no, no, it's... Uh, and there, uh, this is something that is um, good to know as well, is that uh, what helped the 360 a lot is it had a little-known game called Elder Scrolls. Right. On launch. Right. Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. And that really felt like a next-gen game. It was huge, this massive open fantasy mm. world game. Yeah. And it was just sorry, we are really, doggo really sitting. Good. We are doggo sitting right now. Yes. So we have a we have a new doggo that is uh Mrs. Mommy and uh, uh doggo is here. So. Yes, doggo is here. So if you see us just kind of casually reach down that's cuz doggo. But she's she's a good doggo. Oh, so. she's she's a good she's a great doggo. But anyway, so um no, I'm just uh I'm concerned about the Series X. I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously, we were all very much um I'm kind of, still kind of going worried to about buy one because I like consoles personally. Yeah, I just do. Yeah. But no, we were all worried about Halo Infinite and the way it looked and the way, you know, it seemed like it was almost a regression. Yeah. And so, again, that kind of ties into what our whole fears about the whole 4K60 thing was. And you can check that video out. Yeah. Yeah. But, we'll link um, that down in the description below. But no, this whole... Um, this whole thing kind of removes one of the big selling points of the Series X, which is Halo. And, um, yeah, I'm concerned about their launch window now. And honestly, at this point, it's in Sony's court. Like, they've got a, if Sony can come out and say, we've got the games, we've got the tech to keep up, you know, because if they come out with, like, say, a Horizon Zero Dawn 2 or a, um, yeah, a God of War 2, which I've heard rumored could be potential launch titles. Um, really? Yeah. Ooh. And, um, or, you know, obviously, we just saw that they, uh, knocked it out of the park with Ghost of Tsushima and, um, the Last of Us 2, while I have a lot of narrative issues, is a technical masterpiece. So it's not like they can't do good yeah. things. And supposedly the PS4, and not even supposedly, but just the PS4 is actually pretty dramatically weaker than the uh, One X. Yeah. And they're still knocking it out of the park. I've yet to see anything on the One X that makes me say I need to upgrade my. Well, and that's and that's just old, the, that's just such a Xbox fault on on one. Xbox's part is that they 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 went they wanted to make like an entertainment machine. With the with the Xbox One line, and the fact of the matter is, is people don't want entertainment machines; they want gaming machines. Because guess what? I have a Roku TV. There's no so there's no reason for my Xbox or anything to have uh, anything on it like Netflix or Hulu or any of that. No, because the freaking TV will do it. No, and most and what the TV won't and, do, my phone will. Well, yeah, and most TVs now will have an HDMI plug-in, and you can do Chromecast, Amazon Fire oh, Stick, yeah, you know, yeah. all these various different things, and you can just cast right from your phone. And so I really think that if, if Microsoft is not going to come out of the gate and say, we're a gaming console for gamers who want the best and the most and awesome. That's, that's why I'm thinking that they need to go for this kind of like PC light version, right? Like it's PC architecture, and it might even be modular. Yeah. Um, but essentially, Boy, they're selling that you. That would be insane. They essentially are selling you a um, a, a, a low a, cost a, PC, for, yeah, specifically for gaming, which and, gets rid of a lot of the the software you'd have to have. Well, yeah, because I mean, no longer do you need a full operating system. You don't need a browser. You don't need a bunch of other stuff. That also frees up a lot of uh, RAM and mm -hmm. processing because mm -hmm. you can just dedicate it to basically low-level operating system and the game. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else in the back. There's no antivirus. There's no Well, nothing. I mean, they're going to have to have a browser system because everything's online, so you're going to have to be able to have, to search and, and find the game that you want and then download it online. Why? They have built-in stores. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but this, I just... I Man, Microsoft, I just... I, like And like I said, man, I'm I'm an Xbox guy, man. Like that yeah, was my yeah. system. Like that was my See, system. And it, and here's the thing: is it's not my system because I'm like, well, it's did you better. No, it's my system because when I was a kid, you know, my parents bought me an with. Xbox for Christmas, yeah. and I played Halo Two until the cows came home. And I love and and so that's yeah, where it good. is. It's a total nostalgia thing, man. And well, see, when the I've cows never... come home on my house is 
actually, you know. Yeah, right. At, at about that's, seven, actually, that's actually a thing. Yeah, it's actually about like 7 o'clock. Yeah, you know, probably, they want yeah. food, so. <laughs> Stupid farm kids. Um, <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, no, but the, um, just, I've never been that big into like brand loyalty. The closest I've ever been to like being a fan of a brand would be like Nintendo. Just because right. no, and I, and that I is such, again, that is so attached to my childhood because I had a Game Boy, I had a GameCube, I had a Wii. Right. Um, played a bunch of N64, but never owned one. Mm. Um, no, and I, I, my brothers had the N64, man, and Mario Party on that. Oh, man. We used to go to my cousin's house. Dude. Oh, Mario Party's so much fun, Dude, though. that game was insane on the N64. Those controllers took some abuse. Well, yeah, <laughs> and I, I've heard a thing that Nintendo actually still treats you know their game consoles as if they're a toy maker, not an uh, electronics yeah. company. Well, which and, makes and, and a lot so, of sense. And so, okay, so approach. let's talk about that. We have yeah. uh, you know we have a company who's focused on a direction, such as Nintendo. Nintendo says we're not making we're not a tech company. We're a toy company. Uh, Sony says that we're you a know tech company. a tech company. Um, and we're an electronic entertainment company. Yeah, we're an yeah. electronic entertainment company, so th- therefore we're going to max out our entertainment. I don't know if Microsoft has a direction for the Series X. I don't think they know where they're going with it. And and again, it's just it's it sucks, man, because I'm like I love the Xbox. I, I and every like I love the aesthetic of the, of the Series X. It's, it's just box. this rectangle box. It and, it looks like your dude, subwoofer. It, I'm looking at your subwoofer and. This might be a little less so, and deep, wh- but it looks like your subwoofer. But, but that's what I'm saying is it's going to go beautiful with everything that I already have set up. Okay, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Because we got like a very dark and chocolate kind of vibe going on For in now. the living room oh, right yeah. now. You know, all no, sudden, we're probably going to stay you, with that because we like earth tones. I was going to say all of a sudden you just go with maple, you know, furniture no. and it's going to clash horribly. Uh, um, but uh, but no, like I I just I love the look of it. I think that the hardware that they're putting into it is great, but they're not. They're not coming at it on the game well, side. Well, it's the same thing you and I were talking about beforehand. Go- is that uh, you know because you're talking about how powerful this is going to be and you know how you're really sold on. It. I'm like, it comes down to games, and now you, they just lost their biggest game for See, their and launch. Why did they only have one game for launch? That they told us about. I have no idea. I mean, because that's- I, I can't I can't speak to that. It yeah. seems like a mistake. Now launch windows are always a little odd. I mean, if you go back into 2013, the uh, Xbox One launched with Rise Son of Rome, which Mm. And uh, yeah. Titanfall, and well, um, I've heard Titanfall. Which, was Titanfall a, was a lot of fun, but not enough content. It was multiplayer only. I've heard Still that Titanfall bucks. Two is some of the like I know That's some people supposedly that supposedly one of the best FPSs to come out this generation, and I have yet to play it, and I need to. <laughs> um, and then the PS4 launched with um, Knack, which was uh, like a puzzle platformer type of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, very much in the vein of like those old uh, like Sly Fox or, or uh, Sly Cooper. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And um, what was the other big one? Uh, the Mario knockoffs. You, Sony had one. There was another one. It's not Crash. It's the other one. Uh, Jack and Daxter. Jack sorry. and Daxter. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it was very much in that vein, and it, it was okay. I didn't hate it, but it was all right. And then they came out with a uh, Kill Zone, which was obviously Kill Zone was kind of the it was Kill Zone Shadowfall. It was all right. And, you know, for a multiplayer shooter on launch, it was all right. Um, well, and that's the thing is that And then third parties really filled in the gaps. I mean, you figure in 2013, that's when we got Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Mm-hmm. That's when we got Battlefield 4, the mess that it was. But yeah, it was still a big impetus to buy a next-gen console because it looks so much better than, like, the PS3 version. Well, what happened to Microsoft saying that we bought all of these new game developers? And oh, they're really still there. And they're still that? working on stuff. I no, saw a lot of the names, but it's all coming out in 21... 21- or 22. I know, and it's no launch titles. I'm like, guys, you yeah. spent all this money, and you're not. And literally, the one launch title that you guys had came back and said, we need more time. Well, also, the internet said, you guys need more time. Well, the yeah. internet collectively said, you guys really need you're more time. You're not going in a bad direction, but you have got to polish this. Yeah. This is not. Yeah, this is yeah. not. This is not ready. We're not yeah. there. It's your your assets need more and and three four three, I commend them for doing that. I do not commend well, Microsoft for only having one title that they expected oh, to sell it's this terrible, machine. Terrible, terrible planning. Because it's it's their marketing. Dude, I, and I have said this. Oh, their marketing they need team to, is they need to fire awful. their marketing team because their marketing team knows nothing about. Go hire some gamers. Go get a think tank of gamers in there from all different places. Be like, what do you guys want to see? Because I promise you, if the gamers sat in that room and they were like. No, all of your crap sucks right now. I wouldn't buy anything. I think that marketing team would collectively shat themselves. Yeah, I don't disagree. The thing is, is that there are some games there that actually look pretty good. There was that one, uh, Medium. 
that, that looks... But not a launch title. Their one launch title that would have been like, yeah, I want to play this, is Halo Infinite. And I got really concerned based on the graphics. Like, y- y'all are rushing this. And then 343 did the right thing and said, no, we're going to... We're, we're going to push, push it back and, and we're going to do it and right. They did the right, and I'm, I'm yeah, glad that we're going to do did. it right. But Microsoft has just put themselves up the creek, and they continue to do it. And I just... I look at it, and I'm like, man, we're talking about the company that revolutionized gaming. Xbox yeah. Live... I'm sorry. Well, that's, if there's, that if there's one thing Microsoft was good at, gaming. it was networking and infrastructure. And they, they were really good at that, and they were able to pull it off, and Sony had to scramble out, to catch up. They came out with, oh, Sony was freaking, because Sony was like, we're, we're winning against Nintendo, because they did, we're taking a slight edge against Nintendo. They're like, they, Sony would already beaten Sega into the dust. Oh, yeah. You know? And then there were a few others in there that were small that I don't even remember. Uh, uh, yeah, well, the uh, PS2, you know... Uh, I mean, it used to be Nintendo and Sega, obviously, were the big two. That would clash. And then uh, right about 2000 is when the PS2 was coming out. Microsoft jumps in the ring with Halo and the uh, Xbox. Yeah, and, and when they came out with Halo and the Xbox, people were like, wait, what is this? And then all of a sudden they were like, hey, guys, don't forget that when you buy this, this, you know, this Halo 2 that you wanted, you can play with your friends online. And everybody yeah, went, play wait, on what? The internet. And everybody went, was like, what, what do you mean we can play on the internet? They're like, no. Check this out. You guys, we built a whole infrastructure thing. You guys can literally play on the internet, and people didn't, couldn't grasp that. Not Again, right away. Today, now we take it for granted. Playing but. online today is taken for granted. Yeah, because we but, have entire games devoted to it. You know, almost everything is at least connected, if not a straight-up shared world these days. I mean, you know, you look uh-huh. at something like Destiny. Yeah. But or I uh, I, I Division remember, or I remember, Ghost Recon uh, Break, Breakpoint Wildlands, one of those. Um Whichever the most recent one is. They're both Ghost Recon games, but I forget which one's yeah, the most I recent. I don't remember. I don't, I'm not, I don't um, but all, all of these are online, primarily, you know, primarily and, online games. And we would not have it in the way that it is today without Microsoft. And without Halo. And now this game, th- this, yeah, without Halo. And now Halo, think about those two things. Microsoft and Halo changed the way that gaming was played. Yeah. They changed it. And now we're literally well, well, I go, 18 I go, years later, eight, give it 2002, 2003, when Halo 2 come out? 04, late 04. Oh, okay. Yeah. So 16 years later, late, well, late 04. So almost 16 years later, and now we're talking about these two things that changed gaming forever, and they can't compete in gaming. Well, it's because the people How who made it aren't there anymore. How did we get there? Well, yeah, that's true. That, that's, I mean, you don't have uh, Joseph Staten. You don't have uh, Marty O'Donnell. You don't have any of these guys who were there from the beginning like that was Bungie and I'm not gonna lie the music in Destiny is still good but not Marty O'Donnell good well and that, like I said it's just it's I I'm I'm really I don't think the Series X is going to perform well I think that this could potentially be the last hurrah for Microsoft and their console gaming because you well, might it's getting here's the, the thing where if it doesn't console- sell if it doesn't sell on launch you are going to start hearing articles that Microsoft is starting to rethink about its console lineup. Well, I think everybody is, because the more and more we get cloud-based, the less and less you need a box. Yeah. And I know the uh, publishers love that idea, because then they can curate. They get to you know, dictate what you own and what you can play at any given time, because yeah. it's their service, and it'll rotate like Netflix does. Yeah. Yeah. And... Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's at, at some point, it might just be that there's a PlayStation and Xbox app on the next version of the Roku TV. All right. So my thoughts. So here's my thoughts. Right. They don't have any good launch titles. So here's here's what I think is going to happen. I think they're not going to sell good on launch because they have nothing. I yeah. think that Sony's going to troll them like they always do. Uh, Sony's gotten very good at that. Uh, yes. So well, that's oh, dude, that's Sony's favorite big business practice is trolling uh, yeah, yeah. Microsoft. Wait for Microsoft Xbox. to screw up and then you know. That's, Make fun and of them so, for it. So and then th- this is literally yeah. what I think is going to happen. I think that they're going to suck on launch, which obviously uh, Sony's going to troll the hell out of them with coming out with some super secret game that we didn't know was even going to be on launch, and we're oh, going to have to. Yeah, rush out no, and buy it's going it. to be like, oh hey, yeah. By the way, you know, um, you know, Halo Infinite got delayed. So while you're waiting for Microsoft to get its act together, how about God of War Two? Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. something like that. They're going to pull some stunt like that, and then yeah. micro, and then you're going to start seeing articles that Microsoft is seriously thinking, uh, rethinking its Xbox and blah blah blah, and, and you know, and then you're going to start hearing rumors that you know, oh well, my, they might not do the Xbox anymore. They might call it something completely differently. Well, they they'll, seem they'll, to be moving brand so. Swap. They're moving so hard into Game Pass. I'm almost wondering if they're not doing that already. I you know I just I see that that's what I think. What do you think? 
That, that's, I, that's, that's, what, that's my map of how this all works out. What do you think? If they can't pull it off, I, I really do think Microsoft is pushing hard for this Game Pass thing. And I think that just the way the industry itself is going, mm -hmm. consoles are starting to become an anachronism. And you are going to start to buy Roku style TVs with an Xbox or PlayStation app built into it. You just have subscription. You pull up the app and you pick a game and you play. Yeah, it. and hey guys, just plug no an more external hard discs, drive into no your more TV. No more retail. Yeah. You just it's yeah, like you, just, you buy an external hard drive. You Not buy even it. that. It'll all be cloud based. That's where they are moving. It'd be like a Netflix subscription. You don't need a hard drive for Netflix because it's all through the cloud. No, that's true. Now we can't pull that off directly yet. We still have to download the games. Well, but that's that does saying, seem like, to be where they're have, moving. Yeah, yeah. You. I'm, that's why I'm saying you'll have to yeah. have external hard drives oh, at least in, in the, the interim. interim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, and I, I think that that's what I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Boy, my, the, my my kiddos are getting down on that game, dude. Yeah, I know. I mean, it sounds like outside of the you know, much cleaner language, it sounds like me playing Halo. Right. <laughs> oh, no, I so guys, thank you so much for checking out this is Drink with Crazy, and let us know what you think down below. And Xbox is yeah, just I, th I think they're in trouble. Get, I really do. I think that they are. with Halo Infinite getting pushed back, the Series X is in trouble. The Series X is in massive trouble, and I mean, I still want to buy one potentially. I mean, if they turn around and they say Fable launch title, all right, all right, you got me, but I don't know. I don't man. think Fable's going to be a launch title, though. I, don't think, I think that's going to be a year or two out, at least. I think it is. I think yeah. you're right. But let us know what you guys think down yeah. below about how Microsoft is handling their their gaming system, their this premium thing that they are bragging about, because I'm going to be honest, I think think they're, uh, they're talking the talk, but I don't I don't think they're, they're going to be able to walk the walk on yep. this one, guys. So, again, thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. Don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button as well as ring that notification bell because Jeez. we're finding out that 50% of you guys, true with every YouTuber, you guys aren't subscribed to us. So go subscribe to us if you guys are checking us out. And until next time... We're content creators. We need validation. Please I, love us. I, until next time, <laughs> I forgot my beer, but cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.